Hello dear children, another day, another chapter in the Banner Saga. And off we go from the start. She could use some more supplies in our cart. A raven says, tightening his belt, kind of miss having those other folks around. They might not have been worth a damn in a fight, but they knew how to track animals and spot berries just about anywhere. Others agree. Sounds like you need practice. Start hunting! Hmm. You send a few ravens who laugh with him. Don't come back empty handed! No, wait, that's not his voice. You add. Choice words are mumble, but they follow orders. Four hours later, they return, each holding nothing more than a small rodent. Two of them have split one. Polka shakes her head and says, Pathetic. <clears throat> the voice is hard, you know. Oh, look! A city with ravens on top of it. That is not dark and evil. A group of new recruits from Bolgard and the previous caravan are loosely gathered behind Mogan, a skilled thrasher with a scar across his face. Sounds like a good time to introduce myself, Mogan. I don't care. Oh no. Thought you were with a Les clan. Bah, she's even worse than her father about trying to save everyone. She didn't appreciate this chaotic gift of no gods, no rules, and plenty of chances for fighting. There's a few rules to being a raven. Most important is following my orders. Of course. Yeah, but what about this giant car that Valky has is lagging around? Something in his stone signals a primal warning inside you. That has nothing to do with you, human. Well, the way we see it. He motions to the fighters around him. She's no longer around. Let's break it open and look at our riches. We're mercenaries, you idiots. We're paid to run jobs. Not steal from who hired us. Is any of this making sense to you? He ignores her. He's only interested in what you have to say. Get past me, and it's all yours. I was hoping you'd say that. Fine. Oh, Sigbjorn has come with me. That is very surprising. I thought he would stick around with the old one. I have no idea who you are, old man, but let's find out. I don't mind, though. I mean, a warrior like him, he... Oh no, I'm mistaking the warriors. I didn't actually mean to kill him, I was hoping that he'd back down, but hey, if he doesn't want to... I'll take care of him. A raven gets knocked down by this lot and he'll answer to me. He sounds very scary in my... in my mind. Probably not from my mouth, but... Kill the weak. Oh, Let's see them. Huh. That... I expected something... More flashy. Well, in good time, I suppose. And there was even a song to end it all. Blood and pain tampers a lot of people and readies them for promotions, surprisingly enough. Falco grabs Mogan by the hair and pulls him up to stand in front of you. He's beaten, but not broken. Ah, something you can respect. Good, finally. But for business, if we let people think they can get away with challenging you, the shield maiden says. You turn the edge of one axe while staring down at the man. Let him live. Barely. 
blunt end of Falker's spear takes out Mogan's legs and he falls to the ground. Several ravens deliver kicks to his ribs and arms, teaching him the consequences of disobeying orders. When they are finished, it's clear he won't be worth much for days. Well, some of our injured heroes need to rest in camp. Yeah, I kind of gathered that much. A commotion draws your attention into the nearby woods. You are surprised to see a small group of dredge, some which you've never seen before, engaging one of the new recruits from Borgard. How did these fain slugs get here? You ask, to... No answer arises. The tattooed fighter is noticeably drunk, but he lops two black axes in quick succession at an approaching scourge. The axes find their mark, shattering stone armor. Continue watching the man's performance. The man throws another axe against Corin Hit. He con his confidence is bolstered to the point of muttering a victory chant. With his last axe in hand, he, le he heaves the weapon, but it goes wide. The scourge closes the distance and slashes the man across the chest before signaling for reinforcements. So is he dead now? Yeah, he's dead now. Fair enough. This will be slightly more difficult than I would like it to be. But hey, these things happen all the time after all. We've got a falker, we've got a bunch of other things, and we've got a feather. A scarlet feather, no less. Which is equal parts impressive and morally ambiguous. Wonder if he dies. I very much do. New kinds of dredge. That is slightly unnerving, I won't lie. I don't like it when unknowns show up. But we will learn more about them soon enough. Right? Poor, poor Bolverk. He is not in the best of positions currently, but hopefully it will not matter too much. You dear boy, I think I will hurt, and I will hurt badly, because you in turn hurt me. A slab of rock. Whoa. So he pushes his back, does he? Not only is that rude, it is also annoying. Or is it the other way around? I can never tell. Anyway, we seem to be not at all in over our heads. It's a simple enough battle, just one slightly bigger dredge, two slingshot thingies. Are they females, I wonder? I know the dredge in the previous game were in fact females, but when it comes to those, I have no clue whatsoever. Right. Actually, let's take your armor off. I do think you're way more annoying than this guy. Only because he can summon reinforcements, and reinforcements are never something you want to engage with. Whoa! That was both impressive and really annoying. But I get it. I absolutely do. Know what else I get? This guy's head as a trophy. And I did not mean to click that, surprisingly enough. Right. Let's see then. How much can we chip off the old lock? <laughs> Nowhere near enough, apparently. But still. Now that his armor is all gone, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this young fellow here. 
actually. Let's kill him into strikes. I think uh, that will be most enjoyable. Absolutely be dead. Sorry to say. These things happen. Whoa, six points of damage. When did his armor get so low? No matter. With one left, this battle is practically over. I hope. Unless sudden reinforcements, you know, that happens in games all the time, right? Does it? Huh. I kid, I kid. Anyway, let's end this. And we get the exact amount we needed to do just that. I really like the songs. Those are new. Well, before we didn't have much to sing about, what with the bridge falling down. The axe throwing mercenary slowly gets to his feet, gently rubbing his bruised chest. Damn! Broke my favorite flask, and just when I could really use drink. That stupid move will get you killed. But it impresses the women. I mean, look at me, I'm a guy who needs fancy tricks to impress women. Yeah, you are, buddy. Maybe not. You give her a look and she just shrugs. Name's Zole, if you were interested. Our group in Bor... He could be talking to either of you, but you just stare at him until he backs away. Well, nice to meet new people always, I suppose. Let's see. We should probably level someone up. Like, for example, our poor, injured Bulwark. Actually, we can't level him up. But we can level up Falcon or Kumr. Let's do. Did I? Oh, I can use the point. Oh, bother. I think we are going to go with a bit more of this, a bit more of that. Ah, oh, sure, why not? So, all that is actually points. Ah, if only I knew. Lacto, now I do. A few more points of damage. You I will promote. Because you, my dear Falka, are an awesome shield maiden and that as they say is fact and you a kill whatever will I do with you mm, yeah that seems good and just I love it when things are just Justice is, just is such a word, such a lovely word. It reeks of um, justice. Yeah, let's go with that, shall we? Oh, don't I? Oh yeah, I forgot to confirm. Silly little me. Right. Let's get back on the road, shall we? Maybe a day of rest. No, I think not. We don't have the resources. If only I knew I would be playing with them. I should have figured it out. 
Ravens in the air as ravens approach, Molly says with a slur. Is that a good sign? The small village ahead looks well fortified with a few bodies outside the fences, being picked clean by the birds. Your caravan moves closer but stays out of arrow range. Whoever's in there wants to be left alone, Falka says, but it could be our best chance for supplies around here. Split and attack! With practiced ease, the ravens split and rush the village from three angles. Arrows miss their marks at the unexpected charge, and soon you are upon the battle hardened villages. I am a leader of mercenaries, so I fully suspect that attacking villages is. yeah, definitely in my portfolio. Okay, that's certainly interesting. Well, I'm sure I could go with you here, and you, my dear, will go here. Yeah, looks good, right? Sure, sure it does. Let's see. Alright. This will probably hurt. Oh, he deflected. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Here, boy. Let's see. We're going to kill you. You we are going to, you know, also kill with general ease and you, I think we will almost kill, which is the same as killing you, only not as good, not as bloody, yeah, but we'll get to you soon enough. I'm sure of it. And you, Lady Archer, you are certainly yet another dead person. It happens. Don't worry about it. Actually... Cool. And we are going to just keep killing barricades. Because it's a way of life with us. Ouch. That actually hurt. Poor Echo. Anyway, we were... What were we doing? Ah, yes, killing people. I don't know. I recall that. Yeah. You, my dear. Your turn now. Sorry. I'm a mercenary. Need the supplies. Can't buy them. Forgot totally that I should have... Save some renown, and honestly, I would rather kill people than die myself. Which makes me somewhat of a bastardly creature. Or should I say, dastardly? Yes, I think I will. I am a dastardly creature. You kick down the last of the barricades to find a dozen or so remaining villagers huddled together. Some have bows, but no arrows. The others have thrown their blades to the ground. A man steps forward. I'm f I'm Frederick, the oldest of us, he says. We've been fighting of all types from Ormstar for two weeks now, just trying to protect. What's ours? He looks back at his people and says, You won't find us begging for any lives. Falka pulls you aside and says, They know how to fight, so it'd be stronger if they joined us. You pull out your beard. Or I could make them gather food for us, you say. Hmm. You're coming with us without your blades and bows. And what? We are fine slaves! Friedrich turns to his people. 
Is that how we remembered? Thou shalt never! In attempt to ground their blaze, but you and the ravens cut them all down with practiced ease. I should have known that wasn't really an option, Falcon says and walks off to look around. Spa. An old wanderer who joined the ravens over half a century ago points to the tents on the edge of the village. Looks like the merchants are still here. Maybe they were being forced to stick around. Oh, merchants. Lovely. Let's take a look at what they've got, shall we? Lots of things that I have not the renown to buy. Seriously, 20 supplies. Eh, fine, I'll take five days worth of supplies. Just to keep my folks happy and well fed. I'm truly a benevolent person. And I think that with this break we should continue. I know old Bulwark is still with a slightly broken skull. But honestly, I I can't stop. A scout points into the distance with a smile on his face. Walking in that direction, you begin to hear the strangest bickering between two Val. Oh, you've done it, Jud, says one Val with a large shield and spear. Kept on until others heard and came nosing about. The other Val glances your way, nods politely and walks towards you while shouldering his axe. And mind my brother Nock, he's a warrior. Nock steps closer and shelves the other Val with his shield. Jut, Val don't have brothers, and it's warrior. <laughs> Falk looks at you with amusement and confusion. None of the other ravens seem to know how to react either. Are you too adult? the nicest way to say hello, Nox says. I'm just changing the voices, extending his hand in greeting. And if we were adult, just us stepping forward and swatting Nox's hand, would we even know it? Nox says. Well, you wouldn't just, but I'd know. The spectacle, the spectacle continues and most of the ravens are now laughing at the absurdity. I'm not sure what you're after. But we're not sharing food. He just shakes his hand. We're not after food, are we, Nock? Nock says. No, no. Well, yes and no. Just agrees. Yes and no. That's right. We'd fight with you. Nock interrupts. For you, he means. Just looks annoyed. Nock. We'd fight for food, but we'd fight with this lot. You can join, if you'll shut up. Thank you, Nox says, but just slaps a hand over his brother's mouth. <laughs> Several mercenaries snort, trying to hold back laughter. The two Vals smile like fools and fall in line. I have no idea where they came from, but I like the comedic relief. Wouldn't mind seeing Ivan fly, if only once more. For some reason, I'm actually not that far off with the voice. <laughs> oh, is this a godstone? I think it is. Remember that last time we saw this foul fool? Hey, Bulwark. Shut up! <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful. Was it a bird god of some sort? I like how my banner is black, by the way. And the ghost of this dead bird has forgiven you for not being yet. Spa asks. The other ravens, including Falker, look from the broken stone to you in shock. Aye, the old man says. We were here nearly 40 years ago. Same spot as now. Only a dozen of us left to the unkindness then. 
Better men by twice than all of you. There's rumbling, but the ravens keep listening. We'd run a job for a man. Pfeffer or Finder. Fener, more like. He says, spitting in the memory. He says, us up to take the fall for some of his other deals. Gone bad. We got surrendered here, and this bear of a vowel loses his mind. He grabs a tree, a whole tree, and starts swinging. Spar starts coughing, but recovers. <coughs> <coughs> Nearly killed us all, but old earring took a hit like no other. And there you have it. The excited ravens start asking you questions, but Spar is all too happy to answer. Study the bird-shaped stone. Earrings, the god known as the Winter Bird, stands proudly on an eternal perch of snow and ice. Stories of seasons past of hunting Radomir across the summer skies, of creating blizzards while flapping its wings to land in winter, cover the outstretched wings. While walking around the stone, your foot thumps in something hollow. You clear away some ice and find a wooden box, probably left as some token of faith to a dead god. Leaving anything behind for the dead is a, is a waste, you say, immediately prying open the box and pocketing the smallest item within. Ooh. Renown, lovely. I really, really appreciate the fact that they have decided to quite change the motif of the godstones. In the first game they were mostly in the images of men, as I recall. Cold creeps under cloaks and forces the ravens to huddle together as wind whips around you. Snow begins to blot out the worm scale mountains in the distance and you're forced to call for an early camp Rising from your sleep, you begin pacing, occasionally drumming your fingers in the top of the large cart. A motion in camp draws your attention. Walking towards you, towards it, you hear groans and see Falker's shield rising and falling erratically among some furs. Humans! You snort, but the shield flips away, revealing a dredge grunt staring up at you. Stepping back, you bump into another dredge. Looking around, the entire Raven camp is a swarm of stone-armored bodies desperately reaching for you. When your axes lash out through nothing, you realize you are dreaming. An unexpected sadness swells in you, like you've let everyone down. A few of your ravens are watching you, smirking, but you growl, but your growl makes them look away. You decide to walk the perimeter alone while everyone else slowly awakens. Interesting enough. Very interesting, actually. How much longer until you are all right, old boy? Fine. I suppose we can take two days of rest. Well, the Val survivors camp is quest is getting better. Around to hear you yelling. A harsh voice reaches your ears, followed by the laughter of several others. Their abrupt halt or alerts Falker, who immediately signals the ravens to fan out and draw their weapons. Investigate. Over the next rise, a group of ten haggard fighters and a few vows surround half a dozen peasants in a broken wagon. A woman spots you and shouts, Help us! But a punch to the stomach drops her to the snow. The fighter's turn, ready to fight. Just give it what's in the wagon. Or rather... Ha! One man says. We were going to eat what's in that wagon, then we finished with these folks. We're starving. Run away now or die. There's a raven banner, brother. Another man says, this ain't the fight we want. The others agree, and the leader resigns to backing away slowly. 
A few ravens follow them a ways while you deal with the women and wagon. Thank you, the woman say, who was punched earlier says. I'm Sefer. I know you don't want us around, but if you're heading towards Bindle, we'll follow your path. Fine, but your food is ours. Payment for saving you, you say. The woman knows her understanding, but to your surprise, the wagon is nearly empty. We'll keep our distance, Sefer says, but we'll be we'll be behind you. You grunt and walk off. Oh, plus one supply, so nice. Half a day worth of supplies, I suppose. A couple of raven scouts take off to check, take off to check out the cluster of tents ahead. Refugees from Ormsdar. One of them says upon returning, they've got a sizable camp and seem disciplined. They know we're here. No sense in trying to avoid them. We take the lead and approach the refugees. Let's see what they have in mind for us. A hooded man with a red spear greets you. My name's Beck, and this is Lofen. You're a bulwark of the ravens and... Is this your wife? You are confused as much by his question as by the fact that no one is with the man. Val don't have wives. The man gets a distant look in his eyes. That's too bad. A wife can make you twice the man you were on your own. Well, he's never been a man. A bear at times, but mostly he's Varl. And I'm Volka. Nice to meet you, Volka. I'll get to my point. I'm leading this large group of trained fighters and tradesmen from Ormsdar. We're looking for a new home. We've done what it takes to survive out here, but they're starting to lose faith in me. You want us to reinforce your control? No, I want you to take over. Lead us some place we can live. Lofen and I weren't meant for keeping others alive. What do I get in return? For one, we won't kill you. <laughs> Seriously. Max smiles, but there is no humor in his eyes. We'll share the food we've collected and fight alongside you should there be a need. He stops and confers with his spear. Supporting you, Loftness. We'll even spread the word of how great the ravens are. We'll take you as far as Bindle. Back kisses the metal of his spear and smiles. You have my thanks. Oh, Loftin thanks you as well. Oh god. This guy is totally bonkers, isn't he? Now I've got a very sizable group, which I, by the way, I like. Yeah, I actually very much do. The unyielding snowfall is proving too much for the humans who now vainly attempt to follow your large footprints. In truth, the sky and your surroundings lack enough contrast to know where you're going. But it's all 2D! Look at this! Anyway, and it's cold. The, the trees over here, Volker manages to say, motioning with her spear. The forage blocks some of the wind, but does nothing for visibility. With no other options, you burrow into the snow, clothed in your bare fur. Verk! Wake up here, damn bear! You're being robbed! Your roar and shake off the foot of snow covering you, the unclear dream still vivid at your mind. Back uses his spear aloft in the point east. Those clansmen you saved, they killed your guards and they're taking everything! Volk is by your side in seconds, followed by the spearman. You sprint along the snowy path of the stolen supplies straight into an ambush by the bandits originally harassing the clansmen. Sefer turns and smirks. Oh. An interesting plot twist. But really, that is not something you should have done. Stealing from the ravens! You must have a death wish. Oh. 
I didn't get the opportunity to move the way I wanted. No, 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 no. Is this one of mine? Yeah, she's one of mine. Why do I even have an archer? What do I need an archer for? Anyway. Time to kill. Oh, we do a shield. Oh, I see, so these are just... Um, fodder. Cannon fodder. Fair enough. This battle is a... It's a nasty one, but I don't think it's going to be all that difficult. Not once I'm done with all those peasants. This one, for example, this one is going to be just peachy. Nice job, random clansmen. You've proven your skill and your value to our great mercenary campaign, let's say. <laughs> I really need to get used to the fact that Bulwark can actually hit twice. It will do me plenty of good. No. Oh. Now that was just mean, you know? Let's see if I can end you. Nice job! Huh, <laughs> he even got a promotion. How good. What an excellent time to be alive, right? This life, it never ceases to be an exciting one. Killing people with axes, with swords, with, well, pretty much everything you can use to kill people, for one. Finally, he breaks something. I wonder when, where that went. Oh, here it is. Nasty, 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 nasty. And so was that trick. I don't appreciate it. Not one. No! Well, uh, what I did was stupid. Never mind, though. I think it's time for our good berserker to let loose. Right. Excellent. Poor old Shieldmaster. Can I save you? No. No, I cannot. But that is by no means. Ooh, excellent. I unlocked the Berserker achievement. Which probably is as fun as it sounds. Probably a lot of murder and mayhem. I actually think I know what it is. I think I was supposed to kill four people with the Berserker class. Which is to say, with so far the only Berserker in the game. Bulwark. Who is now ready for promotion, which is fantastic. And good job back as well. 17 renown. Excellent. Sephir's wounds are great, and she whimpers in the snow. You knock to Falker, who dispatches the bandit Archer with haste. This is what helping folks get you! You roar. Grab all these supplies and bring them back to camp, you tell the raven, after hoisting a barrel on each shoulder. Hmm. An impressive display of power, old boy.
Let's see what Bolverg can offer. Bear Rage. The Berserker whips himself into a fury, terrifying nearby enemies and sending them fleeing in disarray. Let's get back on the road. Or perhaps a day of rest. Would it do me good? Yeah. No, no, um... Not now. Well, but the guy was nice. He was definitely a nice guy. <coughs> We're almost to the city. Which makes me wonder whatever is going to happen here. The miners of Bindal are a rough crowd. Not a bad place to recruit new blades. Nice enough. The old wanderer fights his way up next to you. Can see it arms hanging in this mess. Yes, old earrings hasn't forgiven you yet after all. <laughs> Shouldn't you have died already? Spark runs. Soon enough, I reckon. Of course, these old bones won't be forming any mountain. Brambles, more like. He squints into the distance. There's bound to be more people from Ormsdal trying to find a new home in Bindal. Spar says, Crowded towns haven't always been good for us. What's got you worried, old man? A bunch of ravens set loose upon a slew of scared men and women is what? Won't take much to have the guards after us. If they let us in at all. He has a point, but there's a little there's little to be done about it. The idea of being around so many others in such a confined space makes you tense. You crave a long hunt and sleep in solitude. I understand the need to sleep in solitude. I'm in fact beginning to feel it myself. I like the tower. It is a nice tower. All of these people are looking for food in the home. Yeah, I figured out much from all the tents. It's not easy to 